All right, again, we'll tell you that 19-14 to 14 was the score of yesterday's game, UCF against Florida A&M. Uh, let's get right to the highlights, Coach, and take a look at what happened yesterday. You guys came onto the field very confident after a pretty good week of workouts. Well, we did. We missed Monday's practice because of rain, but Tuesday and Wednesday were very good practices. Thursday was good. Of course, we missed uh, Bernard Ford a little bit in the game. He played but uh, was not real effective. Now, they score on You take a look at this run. He stopped four different <laughs> times in the line of scrimmage there. That's Sean Gilliam. Uh, this was, uh, I believe, their second possession in the first period. A 54-yard gallop. Uh, it was a one-play drive, and the point made it 7 to nothing. but uh, the Knights came right back. Just a great play by them. In this, uh, our second possession, we drove straight down the field in uh, just about three minutes and scored a touchdown to make it 7-7. Seven to seven. So seven great play. about the game all the way. Seven plays and uh, 71 yards, and uh, there is the safety that made it 9-7. to seven. Uh, Darren Slack just couldn't seem to handle the snap out of the shotgun. Well, the snap was a little bit offline, and I think he lost his concentration on feeling it. It, it slipped right past him, and they end up getting the, the safety on it. And then, of course, we kick the uh, free kick to them. They get field position. They come back and get another field goal to make it 12-7. And that's the way it was at halftime. Now we move to action in the third period, UCF's first drive, and that is the result. Robert Ector in from four yards out. And that put us up, and I really felt at this point that we would stay ahead the entire game because they didn't make a first down the whole fourth, the whole third quarter. <coughs> then we fumbled on a third down pass completion. They get the ball at our 40 yard at the other 40 yard line and make a real nice drive on us and get it into the end zone. And we've already talked about the end of the game. 19 to 14 was the final. Let's take a look at some of the key players from yesterday's game. First, we'll take a look at Keenan Wembley, who did a good job on Keenan defense. Wembley, number 55. Uh, Keenan was the defensive player of the game. He had uh, was in on 12 tackles, had two and a half sacks, and pressured the passer one time. So you'll see 55 here making several nice plays. I think you've already made reference to this, but uh, here's a team that allowed only how many total yards did FAMU have yesterday? FAMU had uh, 202 yards of offense yesterday. It's one of the best games, maybe the best game uh, defensively that we've played all year. We had six sacks in the game. Of course, they had nine, uh, but uh, we had six, and that was overshadowed, of course, by losing the game. I don't think we've introduced you to Mike Grissom, your nose guard, yet this year. He, of course, is from Jacksonville. We'll take a look at uh, some pictures of him in action. Yes, Mike is from Jacksonville. Uh, Wilson High School, a very good football player. He's number 59 here, uh, and he had a lot of good plays. You can see here he, he does a nice job. He beats the center nearly every play. And there he is again making another, still another play. I guess you could probably say that maybe UCF's... Uh, Maybe, uh, their performance was overshadowed by uh, by what we weren't able to do on offense yesterday, huh? Well, it, actually, uh, you could tell throughout the game, any fan who, who watched the game could tell it was a very fine football game defensively. Uh, naturally, uh, the team that wins gets the most credit, and they should, but I'm real proud of the way our defense played, and offensively, we played very well. Now, this is Sean Beckton. Uh, Sean caught five passes in the ball game. He's number four, of course, from Daytona. Uh, Sean had another fine day, and he also fielded the punts. And you can see uh, he, he was flawless on fielding the punts, as he has been all year. All right, we'll round out our offensive look at yesterday's game with a look at uh, Andy Bishop, one of your mainstays on the offensive line. Number 66, he's a true freshman from Miami, uh, starting in the offensive line. He's the left guard here. You'll see him getting in. You see him running interference there for for Mark Giacomo. And then his pass protection here. You see him keeping the, uh, his man off the quarterback. And then on this run by Robert Ecker, you see him making a nice block. And on Mark Giacomo's run, he, he blocks his man effectively. Here on Darren's uh, quarterback draw, he makes his block on the linebacker effectively. So. Uh, Real proud of Andrew Bishop. He's going to be an outstanding player here before he leaves, and he's also a very good student.